Okay, so this is gonna be video like what happened to our car. <laughs> it's not totaled by any means. It's not even really. It's just like cosmetic damage, but. So we were in Butte a couple days ago. Sorry, I'm really fidgety. I don't like sitting still, but. So we were in Butte and we got rolled. Somebody rolled into us. So, this, okay, it goes this way. So, this is the road, you know, see the road. And we were parking the right way down the hill because he went up the street and went around the block and came back down. Anyway, so he parked the right way down it, and the guy that rolled into us cut through and just parked there. Um, he, when he rolled into us, Hit, our car was parked as close to the bump, or close enough to the uh, curb as we can get without getting our tires jammed on the uh, sidewalk. And his uh, driver's side hit our driver's side on our car. If you guys have seen any part of our outside of our car. Um, our back bumper has damage already, but it was just like tiny little uh, cracks, and it wasn't anything super serious, and we hadn't planned on fixing it in ages, um, and so we had enough money, and probably were 20 years old or something, I don't know, but we hadn't planned on fixing it for a while, and uh, so... We, uh, he rolled into us, and Jacob went out there, because we were in Jacob's mom's house, because we were there visiting her for the week, it was like four days or six days or something. Um, so we went there, well, he rolled into us, my story's all jumbled up, but because I've told it so many times I've been trying to get it with under 10 minutes so it's not like I'm yapping and yapping and yapping but um so he rolled into us and he wouldn't come out of his house Jacob looked in his car to even like figure out where he lived so he could tell the guy hey your car rolled into mine and I would like to get your car off of mine his was a Mazda truck and ours, if you guys have seen, it's a little Camry. Um, and it's such an awesome car. It's so reliable. But his bumper was pure metal. Like, not pure metal, but yeah, it was metal. It was like a silver color. Um, and ours is fiberglass. So, of course, it cracked. With the already cracked, it cracks, it cracked it even more. And since we've been driving, it's been chipping and it's kind of getting ugly looking. Um, it, we got it quoted at Yates when we were in Butte and it was $800, $836 and some odd cents. Um, what are you doing about? Um, so we just called the cops, the cops came. Uh, long story short, cop didn't do his job, so when Jacob, Jacob wasn't even going to make a claim against the guy, he was completely cool with the guy, told him that, you know, stuff happens, and, uh, we couldn't have, oh yeah, the guy, uh, that he wasn't going to make a claim, but the guy got tickets for, uh, no, uh, failure to use an operational brake, like putting it in park, um, which you think is common sense. Uh, and then he got failure to use a, um, emergency brake, which is, if you've ever been in Butte, you know, it's nothing but hills. So, that, and the guy, after the cops left, the guy sped up the hill, sped up the hill and was spinning rubber, and the whole time we were there, he had his friends block us in so that we couldn't, leave a whole ton and so he's like you know what I'm gonna make a claim I didn't want to do it but 
you know, he kind of needs to learn a lesson and pay for what he did. And so the, he called the insurance, nothing matched. So we went back to the, um, the police station in Butte. Um, we went there. After waiting two hours, they f we finally talked to a cop. The cop that we had talked to said that the cop that we talked to the first time was lazy, does the bare minimum, he doesn't like to do anything. He forgot to give us a white form, which is, if you've never heard of it, it's like when somebody wrecks into you or you wreck into them. No, it's when you get wrecked into. Um, you get a white form that says that you got eight hundred dollars or less worth of damage um on your car wherever it may be um and then you send it up to the highway patrol at least in missoula or not missoula but in montana that's what you do um so the cop gave us that he said that the information on that paper most of it was wrong so we talked to that cop we went back, called the insurance again, because there's a 24-hour number. Um, and I feel like, this, okay, it's only six minutes. Um, the insurance said that nothing was matching still. They had the, the dad of the kid. Um, they had the insurance number. The, uh, they didn't have the Mazda. Um, but he had like 15 other cars and, you know, boat trailers and RVs and a ton of vehicles. And so, uh, I'm looking at Bella back there, but, um, we, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, and then finally we left, had left it alone and, uh, the insurance did an investigation and was like, what the heck's going on? Why is, we have this number, we have everything, but we don't have this one truck. Um, because they were wondering if it was uninsured. Uh, and we did not tell them, you know, go be super nosy, we just left it alone. Um, and we found out that the guy that rolled into us switched insurance the day of or the day after, figuring, you know, hey, they're not going to figure out that I switched insurances. Well, he was very, very wrong. We found out that he switched insurances. We talked to them. They told us that they had that truck. They had the guy that was driving it. He was registered with that truck. Um, so we made a claim, of course. And they're like, okay. Yeah, that was the matter. Yeah, what's the matter? Um, we, uh, made the claim. Then, uh, hold on. How are you playing with your diaper? Okay. So, we talked to the insurance. And they told us that they would investigate it and we would hear from them soon. About a month or so later, maybe it wasn't even a month, it was like two weeks. Then we called them back, you know, just to see what was going on. The lady had told us that um, we were getting our car fixed. Huh, we're getting a car fixed and um that our bumper was getting paid for and there was no fees or anything that we had to pay for um uh what else oh yeah and then jacob was like i'll just use my dad's car to get to and from work but uh if we had an emergency his car wasn't or his dad's truck that he was gonna borrow wasn't compatible with our car seat because the fact that it was a single cab, the doors don't really close that well, plus it's a work truck and, right, well, yesterday it was a mobile bush, so, um, 
wouldn't have looked good driving around. Um, and so she, he hung up with the lady, didn't really want to get uh, a, a rental car because he figured he would have to pay for it and whatnot. So I said, why drive your dad's truck if you can get it paid for? And he said, no, I'm going to have to pay for it. And I said, I doubt it. And then he calls him back, and it was a lady. She was so nice. She was, like, she laughed, and she wasn't, like, super busy or serious and business lady. Like, she was pretty laid back, and she was super nice. I would, yeah. And so he's like, if I got a rental car, would it be paid for? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, just pick it up after your rental or after you drop your car off and we'll have everything taken care of. And so he's like, okay, I'll get a rental car then. <laughs> so, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it off tomorrow, then we're gonna go pick up the rental car, they're gonna keep it for two days, I think they said, and then the insurance will call us and tell us how long they're gonna keep it till they fix it. Hi, huh, baby. They're gonna fix daddy's car. And, so, they're going to do that, and we're super excited because our car's going to get fixed. And if you guys would like, um, we'll do, I'll do a video on, like, the damage that he did and the damage of another accident we had between us and a dog that was completely accidental. The dog was on the highway, but, and it was dark outside. Uh, so I guess that's it. And we'll see you guys whenever I post another video. Say bye, Bella. Bye, guys.